What's up, nerds? Plugged in is back and better than ever. I'm your host, Tyler, along with Michael and Tyler. Today we are discussing Sonic 2, Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, and so much more. Let's roll that intro. So our first story we're going to be talking about is uh, Sonic 2. Have you guys seen it yet? I have not. Uh, I actually never even seen the first one, but I know enough about it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I, it's not a movie that I wasn't a big Sonic fan as a kid, but I mean, I know what kind of happens in all the movies. Mm -hmm. I know like the lore and stuff yeah. like that, but I heard it's really fun. And I heard Jim Carrey gives one heck of a performance. Yeah. Well, I did, what about you? I did see the first one. Um, I thought it was okay. It wasn't what I was expecting it to be. I was mm -hmm. expecting it to kind of be in like Sonic's world, but it was not. But uh, the idea was cool. Uh, mm -hmm. Like. Sonic was a decent part of my childhood. Uh, I played some of the games and watched some of the shows. So awesome! So, um, just thoughts. What are your th What are your guys' thoughts on them bringing in like all the Chaos Emeralds and Robotnik's uh, powers and everything along that line? I think it's smart. I mean, of course, with the ending. Spoiler alert: If you haven't seen the movie, I mean, Jim Carrey, mm -hmm. Doctor Egg, dies in the movie. So it's kind of nice that they're introducing all these other types of mm -hmm. things to kind of expand on the world because, you know, with the Dr. Egg story pretty much done for this mm -hmm. universe, they kind of need to start adding more and building yeah. bigger, better things for it. I mean, any move that they make with these movies now will be smart because they have, hopefully it doesn't do like every other video game movie and just scrap like every game they have. And they actually have multitudes of years and decades to go off of to bring in those uh, plot lines from the movies. What did you think on the powers and the uh, Chaos Emeralds? I think they're definitely in a step in the right direction mm -hmm. from making it more like what we used to know mm -hmm. it as. Uh, so I think that's definitely going to be a good thing that people are going to look forward to, myself included. So I really and, also think like mm -hmm. with the introduction of the post credit scene that they mm -hmm. have with, the, uh, sh uh, with Shadow at the end, I think that was a nice little touch for the fans. Because yeah. they did it with uh, the post credit scene for Sonic 1 was... Well, it was... There was... Well, yeah, the was one with the new character drawn on Tails. Tails, yeah, yes. Tails came through the uh, portal, and mm -hmm. then he's like, "Oh, I got, I gotta go find Sonic and everything." Yeah, that's so, that is another thing I yeah. think is also going to be really good is bringing uh, mm -hmm. Knuckles and Tails. That's yeah. going to be a really good Do, like, thing. A, I think is it Sonic Three type of thing? Yeah, that's where they're all three of them are like in the same game or whatever. It yeah, is. yeah. And I, I didn't play Sonic when I was little, but like I was like around all that, all those games and everything. But um. They, so it opened with a $72 million, which is very nice for this, uh, de uh, this decade now because of pandemic and everything. And then that uh, kind of led into a um, spinoff series with Sonic on, or Knuckles on Paramount+. Plus. How do you think that's going to pan out and what do you think they could bring in for story-wise? Well, I mean, if they're going to do anything like what Disney's doing with their IPs, I mean, mm -hmm. TV shows are just the right thing to do. With everyone having yeah. a streaming service now, mm -hmm. it basically makes the most sense where it's like we can make a movie, have some characters show mm -hmm. up in that movie, and then just do a totally different thing to yeah. add on to the overall uh, mm -hmm. world that they're in. And I think kind of like with this $72 million opening, that's going to really make sure that that TV show is going to definitely oh, well, happen. Oh, 100%. And what about you, Tyler? Uh, like I said, I'm not really sure what they're going to going to be able to do with the show. Mm -hmm. But I mean, from kind of like an uh, economic standpoint, it makes the most sense just to kind of expand on your characters and story. Mm -hmm. So, But, you know, with this, next month, going to be mm -hmm. really good, Tyler. Yeah. We got Kenobi, Stranger Things, and Top Gun, all releasing on May 27th. I like my, my mind's blown. What about you? What about you guys? Uh, my fr that Friday is going to be very <laughs> oh, very busy for me. A hundred percent. I think Kenobi is going to be what I start off the day with because mm -hmm. I'm not the big. I like Stranger Things, but mm -hmm. Star Wars, man, Star yeah. Wars. It's yeah. Kenobi. Yeah. Like, come on, two, my thing two episodes of Kenobi yeah. on oh, Friday. Yeah. That's hour I was, long. Mm -hmm. I was upset when they weren't going to release it, but then I heard they're releasing two episodes. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yes, my I'll day wait. is taken up. I'll wait. The did next WandaVision do the same as I can't remember? Yes, like but WandaVision, WandaVision did the same. Yeah, but they only had like what 30 minute episodes. They're yeah. like they were like sitcom run. Yeah. And um, what other Disney shows have done it? Uh, well, Bad Batch. Okay. No, that did like an hour long thing. So that took two mm -hmm. episodes in the one. Okay. But, I'm trying to think what other Disney shows have done that. There's one other one that I'm drawing up. I don't think on. any other Disney Plus uh, uh, shows have done Didn't it besides. Did Hawkeye do it? Yeah. I think so. I, I think, think I can't did. remember, but that that show was good too. But um. But dude, the fact that we're like 
finally going to get it. I know. Basically a nice end to mm -hmm. Obi-Wan, I mm -hmm. think. Of course, we know what happens in A New Hope, yeah. but this is going to be like that nice close the book mm -hmm. because I'm, my theory is this show, final scene is going to be old Ben Kenobi finding Luke with the Tusken Raiders. Mm -hmm. I think that's That'd where the cool. show is going to end. That'd be cool. Yeah. It oh. just, I'm very excited for the Inquisitors that they show in the trailer. Mm -hmm. Oh. I mean, like, people give it a bad rap for them not... I know mean, they edited mm -hmm. a little bit, but give them a bad rap for not looking the same as Rebels, but, like, this also isn't Rebels, this is live mm -hmm. action. I'm just excited to see how they're all going to fight and yeah. see how Kenobi and the Inquisitors come together and see what's going to happen. The, the Grand Inquisitor is the guy who plays uh, Agent 47 in the recent Hitman movie. Mm -hmm. Is it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, well, that movie didn't do hit no, too it well, didn't. to be honest. But um, he does... the. The Grand Inquisitor is the one that we like see in the trailer, like in front. I guess it's in front of Kenobi. I guess. And like couple. in like the desert or yeah. in the little shop area, but um, looks very very well from what I've seen. Like looks very much like uh, Fallen Order. I think. Oh yeah. So I mean, it, it, oh, amazing. It's which, just amazing. Could we see Cal Kestis? That's like one thing that I'm kind of hoping for because I think. It's been teased heavily that he's going to be coming mm -hmm. into live action. And they can get the guy who plays him in the game because they mo-capped him. Mm -hmm. and yeah. So he looks exactly like he does in the game. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of hoping that maybe we get to see that because I really think this show isn't going to be primarily on Tatooine. Maybe like the first two episodes, but like mm -hmm. I think the rest of it's going to be traveling around and I would exploring be new places. I wouldn't be surprised if we get Cal Kestis. If not, we're going to get a lot more uh, mm -hmm. like Easter eggs and... Uh, other little things, because mm -hmm. Dave Filoni, they, he gives the people what they want in general with when he makes the Star Wars shows, so yeah. that's definitely something I'm looking forward to. As long mm -hmm. as I get Anakin and Obi-Wan in Clone Wars armor in live action, yeah. That, that'd uh, be pretty cool. That'd, that'd be, be pretty awesome. cool. I'll be I'm, I'm more familiar with that version of like Kenobi, because my dad took me to see the uh, Clone Wars movie in theaters, and that... Uh, I like that movie. I haven't seen the series, but like the movie's like oh, top tier. Really? Yeah, the series? I just I wasn't one of those kids to just sit down, cartoon at work every I'm like maybe like Monday ish, right I think now. it was. Have you watched are you just watching it through again or have I'm you I'm just watched watching it through again. Yeah. I've watched it before. I wasn't one of those to sit down like what was it, seven o'clock, I think? It was it eight o'clock Friday night. Eight o'clock Friday nights. Last I wasn't one of those seasons. kids to just sit down there on Cartoon Network and just watch it. Oh uh, Tyler. I don't you, know. I, I highly know. recommend you get that before Kenobi. You got a oh, month yeah. and a half. I, I think you should go through it. You got to learn about that stuff because I'm sure a lot of it's going to be referenced mm -hmm. in there. We might get Ahsoka in there. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think it's kind of confirmed that Ahsoka's going to be in it. Possibly. Mm -hmm. um, Possibly. Maybe Satine. I would love a live action Satine. I really want to because I think that would be cool if we see like a Force Ghost of Qui Gon and like kind oh, of yeah, them reminiscing about that stuff. There's just so many possibilities mm -hmm. that they can go through with this. I mean, but we're all, well, also we're forgetting the fact that Stranger, yeah, Stranger Things, things is coming out. We got to give a little love. Trailer. What do you think of the trailer? Uh, it honestly is, I feel like it's not what it used to be anymore. Mm. I think yeah, it's a little, I, I see that. It's too like silver screen now. Mm -hmm. It's like all this like it's crazy too, stuff. It's too much digging into the D&D &D side, which I don't really <laughs> mind, but like you dug into it a little bit with the first season and the second season. But you're going more into like the D and D, and I mean, it, I'm over it. But that's to be not honest. really what I'm thinking. I just don't like how like the government's like Eleven. We need your help. It's like we need that's your help not now. what. That's like they're kids. Mm -hmm. Like this is like this is. They want to like, enjoy their spring spring break, break or summer break, something like that. I think that. it's spring break. Something yeah. like that. It's just like I, I feel know. like this. They're getting a little too big with the story, and like now mm -hmm. they're just at the point where like we could do whatever we want because it's Stranger Things, and I yeah. think they're gonna lose that core value of like where it's just a bunch of friends. Mm -hmm in the 80s and mm -hmm. now they're just making it this action set piece mm -hmm. i the fact that it's split into two volumes is fine but i'd like it all in one day binge it out like that like i did like every other season was one day so well i don't know I, because they can i think it's yeah. kind of cool that they separated into two parts i mean i feel like they maybe should have done that for the last season personally not when they mm -hmm. said oh we're gonna do five seasons but you know here we're doing it for number yeah. four so i think it, it kind of ruins that like the effect the last season could have if they did yeah. that so because you could draw it out mm -hmm. more and like really take up all the content this one's just going to be like everyone's going to binge it in one day because it's six episodes yeah and they said oh they're over an hour it's yeah. like yeah all right it, whatever. that's they said it was it's their like game of thrones season where like every episode's like over an hour and it's their game of thrones season that's not a good that might not no. be a good thing no that's not it works for game of thrones no. but that might not work for stranger things and then the last thing that's really is well the last two things actually we forgot bob's burgers and top gun both going to be amazing movies that are coming out that day 
I'm gonna watch both them in the same day, but don't know about you guys. Maverick, I'll probably go see. I'm mm -hmm. not a big Bob Burgers fan, so I probably won't go see it. I'm binging it right now. Um, but definitely Maverick, my dad loves mm -hmm. Top Gun, mm -hmm. so I will definitely yeah. go see that with him. What about you, Tyler? Uh, I haven't seen the first Top Gun, so I'd have to do yeah. it's some on Netflix. research. I'd have to go, I'd have to go watch mm -hmm. it before yeah. I see the new one. Mm -hmm. But uh, I saw the trailer for Bob's Burgers, so Dang, that seems like it it's going to be nice. But um, now moving on with our next story, oh, movie that a movie that I've been like astonished with since I watched it, Ambulance. Did you guys watch it at all when I'm it came out? Probably gonna go see it this weekend. Week. I'm probably awesome. gonna go see it this weekend. I mean, it's your classic Michael Bay. Mike class. Oh. Like the explosions where there shouldn't be explosions. Mm. Just corny dialogue. Yeah. It's just literally Michael Bay just was like given a bunch of money just to make exactly. a movie. I'm Yeah, like you said, classic Michael Bay. It's one of the best Michael Bay movies I've seen in a little bit since like the first Transformers. Jake Gyllenhaal, Yaya Abdul-Mateen from um, Aquaman and Isaac Gonzalez from uh, uh, Bloodshot. All great performances. All the scenes in the ambulance makes you actually feel like you're in the ambulance. And that's my favorite part. Just like in all the chaos. That's something that made me interested because mm -hmm. I like how claustrophobic mm -hmm. it is. I mean, they're getting chased because it was a bank yeah. heist or something it that went was, wrong. It, they stole $32 million from the L.A. Federal Reserve. That would do it, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 100%. I, I, it's an interesting thing because like Jake Gyllenhaal just had a movie recently uh, last year on Netflix. The the, like one where he's a 911 the operator, guilty the guilty, or whatever it was yeah. called, which yeah. is kind of like that same thing where like you're mm -hmm. trapped pretty much in like one location yeah. primarily. And I think I kind of like that mm -hmm. idea for movies now. I've yet to watch it, but and it I didn't like it up until the end because I was like just like oh they kind of spoiled what the whole movie's about, mm -hmm. but then they had this plot twist at the end that like made me rethink mm -hmm. the entire movie. But I think if more movies like that like work. They're yeah. not big budget set mm -hmm. pieces. They're like in one room or like in one yeah. building or one vehicle. And it's just like, it works so well. Cause mm -hmm. it's something that I can't think of has been done in recent years up until like maybe last year. Maybe, or maybe, no, Belco Experiment was in like one building when that came out. Yeah, but I'm like talking more like a grounded kind of story. Like that's yeah. a little bit more like yeah. kill. Yeah, his wife that. needs like an experimental surgery. He needs three hundred twenty-one thousand, but then gets roped in with his brother and everything. But will you be watching it, Tyler? Maybe I might. It, it's a, it's a great movie if you haven't seen Michael Bay in a while mm. to get right in back into all his movies. What was his last movie? Was it Bad Boys? Not Bad no, Boys, that was Jerry Bruckheimer. I think it was the last Transformers movie. Age of or the. Uh, uh, last night or whatever oh, okay there was um i saw something on instagram from ig and he's like when steven spielberg tells you to stop you stop and oh, that yeah. that has shown with transformers over the years like it got horrible after i guess dark of the moon was the third one with shia third one? yeah that was the yeah. last good one in my opinion yeah that and that was the last one with tyrese right as well yeah, age like of all extinction. those good characters too age of extinction like, just dragged on yeah. that was a long movie for i no got i got the inch shit after uh, Revenge of the Fallen, to be honest. Yeah, Revenge of the Fallen. Kind of, it, yeah. it, trash. But um, on to the uh, not gloomier side of news, but uh, Bruce Willis and uh, Jim Carrey retire, sadly retire yeah. from acting. What are your guys' thoughts about it? Very sad. Yes. Very, very sad. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it sucks for Bruce Willis because he had the yeah. of a medical condition. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's a shame to see an actor of his mm -hmm. caliber kind of yeah. have to retire. It, I forget what it's called, but it does something with like your speaking. Yeah, right? to be able to like comprehend this. Yeah, it's not even like really lines. something he can yeah, get around. No. Like you kind of need that for acting. Yeah, I mean, he's literally one of the most iconic mm -hmm. action film stars of the '80s and '90s. He even has a Razzie category named after him. Yeah, like to get something like that. Like the Razzies are bad, but like I don't know. I'd be kind of like. Ha like happy that I got like my own category. Yeah, I mean, but because a lot of his movies like in the past five yeah. years have been like direct to VOD, mm -hmm. so it's like not. Yeah. You know, he's kind of fallen as a little mm -hmm. bit of like the star he once was, but like look at the movies he's been: Die Hard, Pulp yeah, Fiction, John McClane, all oh my of those God. Most, some iconic characters. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just a real darn shame to see something yeah. like that happen, especially to a man. He's, he's minus this. The condition is pretty physically mm -hmm. fit to still do all that stuff. He, so. Was he in the? He was in the Expendables too, right? 
the very he high did show action, up. yes, very high action movies that spawned that had three movies. Fourth one uh, coming out. Yeah, yeah, I did see that actually. I, uh, yeah, yeah. So I, it's a real mm -hmm. shame that he won't be coming back for that. And then, but yeah, Jim Carrey was. Oh my god. Honestly, a bit of a surprise. Yeah. He just, he just said he's kind of. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm kind of done with yeah. it. I just he's kind of. Like, he said that if the right role comes back up, he'll jump back in. So my theory is he'll do like hopefully. one like really artsy, artsy film. Mm -hmm. Like like an Eternal yeah, sunshine, sunshine type of movie. Yeah. Like just one that will like mm -hmm. blow everyone away, and like yeah. he'll just come out of retirement to do like that one final film. Because I don't think he would want Sonic no. to was his final film on his <laughs> I w filmography. I mean, after the weekend, it had kind of yes, but kind of no in the way for I, me. I think Jim Carrey, he's more of an artsy guy now anyway, yeah. so it's to the point I think he would like something like Sunset. Yeah. yeah, so. I haven't seen it yet, though. You haven't seen? No, really? sadly not. It's yeah. good. It's I'm this good. like movie nerd, and I haven't seen like I haven't seen it. You would like it. You would appreciate I the think, art style and the I direction so. of it. I think it's probably, is this something along the line of like artsy, like licorice pizza in a way like artsy? No, it's Not, artsy well, more of like, it's mm. a, a artsy science fiction. Mm. Like an A24 kind of artsy, but like minus the horror? Yes. Okay. So yeah. 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 I but, would um, say that probably mm. makes, it, yeah, mm -hmm. it's probably the best way to say it, so. Well, would you like to see Jim Carrey return for another role, Tyler? Or I, I would, I think with like, again, these being such like high caliber actors, like they, mm -hmm. Coming back would be great. I mean, obviously, like, Bruce Willis is probably not going to be able to come back. So oh. Seeing Jim Carrey come back would be a really good thing for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, let's hop right into our last one. I know me and you, we, we, we played been playing this for the last week. Skywalker Saga. Um, Game, my, of uh, Game, of yeah, oh, Game of the Year Game of the Year contender. Very <laughs> graphics are high up there. Even though I'm on PS4, I don't. What are I'm you on, on Xbox One, so I'm yeah. on last gen. So too. yeah, it's the cutscenes. I know I was talking to you this, I think, earlier in the week. It's very like choppy in a way. I feel like it feels like very like not laggy in a way, but like just very choppy like sequences. Like all like the cutscenes just don't feel as fluid as I've seen for like next gen and everything. I can I'm, I'll say the opposite. My cutscenes have been pretty good. I think I, I've had mm -hmm. one issue when it came to like lag. Mm -hmm. It was in the episode six uh, battle with the Emperor, and when he started doing his Force Lightning, that my whole game just like lagged, oh, really? and I couldn't play the rest at all with it. So oh, um, no. basically, I had to restart the mission. But the nice part about it is, which I find this really awesome, is that. If you're trying to go for true Jedi, mm -hmm. it lets you pick up wherever you ended on like that timeline really? for the last mission. Because I was like, fudge. I yeah. had to like literally like go back and get all the coins and stuff again. It's like, no, it picked me up right in like that last bracket. Really? And I had to get like a couple more coins just to like get That's it. amazing. So I haven't had that happen to me before. No, and I think the fact that like all just like the open world is mm -hmm. great because like when yeah. i finished like the main story i mm -hmm. had a pretty good chunk of like i have to, like 50 percent of prefer about every story mm -hmm. so i kind of go back and i had of. on average probably about like 42 43 percent yeah it was around for there. all the ones i've done yeah that, and that's just i haven't like collected everything but after that i went to the open mm -hmm. world which i did a little bit of exploring in between missions and stuff like that mm -hmm. i only had 14 percent of the really? open world completed Oh and, God. like, I'm done the story parts. That's just insane how massive mm -hmm. this game is. I finished up... I fin I wanted to do the sequel trilogy really bad because I've only played half of the Force Awakens game, and I really wanted to play, like, Last Jedi and Rise of Skywalker so bad. Those are my favorite out of the sequel trilogy. Yeah. Uh, they were fun. They, they were so fun. The, the fight with um, Kylo Ren and Rey in Rise of Skywalker, the where they're, like, in, like, the water on the, like... I guess broken down ship or whatever it was. I can't really the remember. Death Star. Yeah, and it's like outside and everything, and inside it was so beautiful. Even though on last gen, it's such a beautiful game. I know you haven't bought it yeah. yet, but I know, I know. You, yeah. you've been keeping tabs on it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've been watching gameplay, and like something I'm really excited for is like I remember like you could get in the original one you could get um like the little starfighters, but like apparently in this one you can mm -hmm. get like capital ships and stuff mm -hmm. like that. They're expensive. But you get like capital ships and again just the open world aspect mm -hmm. of it like this is such a massive game and it's going to be a lot different than what you know i used to play on the wii as a kid so it's going to be a nostalgia factor and mm -hmm. b just an amazing star yeah. wars game in general i mean lego star wars but i mean still it's mm -hmm. going through like the whole story for you and playing it when i first got i played it literally at midnight 
that Tuesday, I started the first two, the first mission in New Hope, and I like went to bed. And um, I understand why like it got delayed like two two years, well, I, yeah. un, two almost three years. I understand why. Well, I, I see, high praise. I wish more gaming companies had mm -hmm. the balls to do that. Yeah. Like delay a game when they know, look, we don't want to release a game mm -hmm. that's not mm -hmm. going to be good. We want to make sure we give yeah. you guys the best game possible. I mean, Call of Duty is doing that. Yes, Activision is doing it. Yeah, finally. But like, in a way, TT Games did it first. If we actually, if I actually think of it, TT Games kind of did it. Even though it's like, what they're like, fifteenth like a game, right? It's not, yeah, line. not too high. No. It's not too high when it yeah, comes Yeah, but to like, games. I don't know. I just have like all all praises high, all praises high. Yeah. I love I love this game. I just like the fact that all the characters and mm -hmm. I, the funny thing is all the memes they put in from all the movies. The uh, mm -hmm. somebody did like the translations under each I've boss seen that fight, on and the one was he will protect, but he also attack as well. Yeah, or he also attack is one of them. Kylo Ren's is like. Something about daddy issues or something yeah, like that. Yeah, I, I think that's issues. just hilarious. Or may, I, maybe it's one of the FNs. It's something along that line. But I think it's like traitor for like, you know. Yeah, yeah, traitor, traitor yeah. Super. I think that's from what it says in Arabish. From the movie, yeah. I think that's just amazing that they put like Arabish mm -hmm. translations and stuff like that. I yeah. just like how the boss battles are like actually like boss battles. And they're mm -hmm. not like the old Lego stars where you had 10 hearts to get for the battle. Yeah, oh no, they God. actually have like You a, have like three hearts. Yeah. At most. Yeah. To get through. And it's just like, but it's actually like, the they, combat's amazing. Mm -hmm. You can yeah. do like good combos and stuff like mm. that. And like the bosses have like a health bar. And, and it will actually, take down. yeah, it'll actually, it'll actually penalize you for mashing like square or. Oh, really? Is it it's X on Xbox? X on the Xbox. Yeah, I was say, I'm going to be an Xbox on the PlayStation. Guy, so. All the buttons, you could like A yeah. and O and all the yeah. buttons. It's amazing. But, I um, just can't wait to play more about it. And hopefully, we could talk about it again soon. Yeah. Once maybe it's a little bit, uh, yeah. we're more into it. Mm -hmm. And we get like, like DLC levels too. Hopefully, oh, that would be that would awesome. hopefully. But um, well, I think that's all the time we got for this week. I'm Tyler, along with Mike and Tyler. Join us next week for another riveting discussion in the world of pop culture. Have a great night, Millersville. <laughs>